Hey, this is Kat from Red Mountain Shaman, and I share shamanic wisdom through dreams, visions, nature, synchronicities, intuition, channeling, art, music, photography, and shamanic journeys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm just going to do a short video today because I just got back from a trip to the Northwest. We went to the coast to visit my son and we did a little bit of grid work there. And while we were doing the grid work, I felt like we were always drawn to these parks that were up on a bluff in different areas in the uh, on the Olympic Peninsula. So it was pretty interesting. And when I got home, I looked it up and it looked like for a lot of the time we were on a ley line that went from the Olympic Peninsula through Edmonds and to Snohomish. Um, I'm not quite sure if I was seeing that right because there was a lot of different maps with ley lines, but one of them did show that and that's right where we were. So that was interesting. Um, and then today we saw a really interesting movie called White Bird and it was a story that was set in World War II time period and it was very moving and it felt very kind of important for the time that we are in right now with a lot of anti-semitism and and hatred going on towards certain groups of people so when i asked who wanted to come forward today in a channeled message it was sitting bull and so i asked him about the grid work and what what we were doing there as far as energy work if he had anything to say about that and if he had anything to say about the current energy as relating to this movie that we saw. So again, the movie was called White Bird. And when I started typing, this is what I heard Sitting Bull say. I am the one you know as Sitting Bull, medicine man, shaman, and freedom fighter. As I fought for freedom in my incarnation as Sitting Bull, I now fight for freedom as I assist humanity as a guide in these perilous times. Many are embarking on a timeline of being controlled and they know not what they do. But others are steering the ship in another direction and the controlling forces are being exposed and will continue to be exposed. For the light is blazing through the planet, through solar activity at this time, and it cannot be thwarted no matter what technologies of man are applied. Your beautiful auroras this week are indeed a result of this solar activity, the likes of which have never been experienced in this epoch of humanity's existence. It is time to ring the bells of a new era. An old world is coming to an end, and abrupt halts will be seen. Those in positions of power will find their crowns slipping and their plans being foiled. But some things must be seen and experienced to be believed. Old regimes have been in the background pulling puppet strings since they lost their battle in the 1940s. But they have never really let go. It will be a surprise to many as to which leaders are still tied to this old guard who has taken the sacred symbol of the whirling log and used it for their own nefarious purposes. All has been inverted. As you have been told, what is up is down, and what is down is up. What is thought to be a threat to democracy will actually turn out to be what saves it. During my time as chief, I did all I could to stave off control over my people, but it was not the time of peace and unity. However, the tribe of the 144 has returned as the Rainbow Warriors, and the Rainbow Warrior prophecy is indeed unfolding. Many of us who knew Mother Earth like she was part of us are in fact remembering our past lives as indigenous keepers of the land. We are becoming activated with our spiritual gifts of the past. We are remembering our power. We are moving forward with the force of many freedom horses. Can you feel the collective momentum? The Great Spirit is at the helm, 
And this great Titanic will not sink, but it will be turned around. And what has been wrong will be made right. Your energy, your dreams, your hopes, your yearnings, your desires propel the highest timelines. You are the wisdom keepers. You are the freedom fighters. Let your light shine and truth prevail so that deception fades into oblivion and sovereignty reigns supreme. Sovereignty of nations and sovereignty of the people. We, the people, have it within us to take back the reins and decide what is best for our future and our posterity. We have it within us to create anew. As you have been told, this is a multidimensional event, and many beings of light are assisting your planet at this time. Old programs are being deactivated and switched out for new ones. New neuropathways are opening within many beings on Earth. Consciousness is rising despite the plans of the fallen ones. All nefarious plans are backfiring and boomeranging, which in turn assists in the planet's awakening. The rainbow warriors are anchoring in the light and setting the energy right. As you move about the planet, you act as a lightning rod in order to shift the old energy out and bring new energy in. You may feel some resistance as this final battle comes to a crescendo, but hold fast to your goalposts, for the game will indeed shift in your favor, my friends. Old rules will soon dissipate. The entire game will no longer be played in the same way. In other words, those who seem to be winning at the game of illusion will soon find themselves as pawns in the game, for the old rules will soon no longer apply, and those who have been used and manipulated will be given restitution. The last shall be first, and the first shall be last. It has been prophesied, and so it will be. I leave you with my greatest blessings upon the bold and the righteous, you, the mighty lions of the lost tribes. Aho! Thank you, Sitting Bull. So I felt like he wanted to draw a card today. So the, the deck that he chose was Gaia Oracle by Tony Carmine Salerno. And it's number 42. The card is Sacred Earth Mother, a message of love. We travel the endless corridors of our mind until one day we find a pathway that leads to our heart. Who you truly are has nothing to do with your personality or your achievements, successes, or failures. The you you think you are is an actor playing a role that your soul has chosen. The essence of you is soul, light, with no beginning or end. You are an eternal spark of pure creativity, unlimited potential, that yearns to be expressed and fulfilled. Your potential is your destiny. It awaits your call. Trust your heart and apply its love and wisdom to all that you do. In this way, all you create or do will be a true expression of your soul. It is through expressing your truth that you create things of lasting value. Be true to you. And I feel like this card kind of has to do with uh, what he was talking about in the channeled message about, you know, creation and that our desires and our energy creates our timeline so that we are the creators of new earth. So thank you, Sitting Bull, and thank you all for being here today. If you would like your own channeled message, readings, energy work, and more, please go to redmountainshaman.com to learn more. And you can custom build your own session there. I just charge by the hour. And please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you so much for all your beautiful comments. We'll talk again next Sunday. That's usually when I put out my videos. And I'm still trying to do a video with my 
my husband, and we'd like to talk about a few things too. So we're still trying to find the time to do that. Hopefully this week we can make our first video uh, with a conversation together. And this will be involving different topics, probably a lot of spiritual topics. So stay tuned for those. Take care until next week.